I was at home uh, with my wife and our kids were at some school event, uh, a practice, so we didn't have to be there. And it was like, oh man, this is, you know, this is what it's gonna be like when we're empty nesters, it's wonderful. And we're having this great conversation. I don't even remember what it was about, but I said something to my wife where I was like, oh, you know me, honey, I'm, I'm such an extrovert. And she looked at me and she's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean, no, I'm not? Of course I'm an extrovert. I run the world's largest networking organization. I'm an extrovert. She's like, okay. If that's what you believe, that's fine. I'm like, what do you mean if that's what you believe? I have, I mean, I'm, I'm a keynote speaker, an author. I, I have to be an extrovert. Look, I'm reading a book now, she said, called The Introvert and Extrovert in Love. And she said, here are some of the characteristics of an introvert. And she started going through this list. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's like me. All right, that's like me. All right, that's a little bit like me, but I am not an introvert. Then she hit one that was just, boy, it hit home. She said, introverts recharge their batteries by being alone or being with loved ones, family, whatever, but, but not out. Wow, that hit home with me, because she loves going out. She's a total extrovert. I need to recharge my batteries alone yeah. at home. And so, but I'm annoyed now. So I go into my office at home, and I, and I get on Google, and I find a, a, a test to take to show her that she's wrong. And so I take this test on introvert, extrovert, and it says, congratulations, Ivan Meisner. You are an introvert who is a situational extrovert. If you're talking about a topic that you love, or if you're with people that you're close to, you come across as an extrovert. Otherwise, you are an introvert. Now go apologize to your wife. 